Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Ben from Ben's Guide and today you join me in my local wooded area, Hutworth Woods. Now, the weather today is quite nice actually. It's sunny, it's warmish. You can see I'm wearing my coat. It is March, so it's still pretty cold. But today I'm happy that I'm out on a photography walk and I've got my Canon R6 and my 70 to 300 f4 to 5.6 with me now woodland photography can be very tricky it might not be tricky for you but it certainly is for me and that's because of the complicated landscapes now i'm going to talk about that more a little later in the video but i just want to share this one photo with you it's very rare i get to see my boy in front of the camera he usually runs away but I just managed to capture this nice photo on this beautiful log here. And it acts as a great leading line with the sunshine coming down on the log. Now in woodland areas, you've got to look close and far away to get some interesting compositions. And my wife pointed out this rather big mushroom right here. I know nothing about fungus or mushrooms. So if any of you know what it is, you can let me know in the comments. But these pictures can really look nice and it's worth checking these out in the woodland area when you next go for a walk. What I like to do when I'm actually in the woodland area is to look for places where the light lands when it's sunny because it can create some really nice compositions like this one here. Now the difficulty I had with this photo was getting the right kind of framing but I could have always cropped it if I wanted to. Back on the track, I spot my wife and her little puppy in the distance. I give a universal nod there to pose for me. Unfortunately, she's completely oblivious. And as I take the picture, I notice she's staring off into the distance, probably thinking about the next lot of interior decorating. It's not gonna happen, love. As we head a little bit down the path into the woodland, I'm reminded of how difficult woodland photography is. You've got complicated, landscape with lots of trees and it can be very difficult to pick out a certain area of interest when you've got a path like this that leads through though it can make it a little bit easier for you because you've got a nice leading line which just directs straight through the woody trees here so in this case i just went to a landscape view and decided to get a nice little snap of this area I couldn't believe my eyes here. I could see that my boy was actually posing for a photo, so I just had to get this because this never happens. And he's such a cheeky little chap. Look at the smile on him. Now, when you're in these wooded areas and you're really struggling to get a composition, I advise that you go and zoom in different places and just pick out little details like this. For instance, there's some leaves just coming down the side of the tree and what really makes this photo is that lovely golden light that's hitting the tree. You just end up getting this nice contrast in the photo. So at this point I turned around to see that I'd been left behind. That's right, my family had left me probably a good idea actually because I just Ooh. would have slowed them down but when I eventually got back on the path I decided to look around for some more compositions with this path as a leading line because these can make striking photographs now luckily in the distance I could see that my family were just at the bottom of this path here so I quickly rushed to get in focus take a photo of them before they disappeared behind those trees Now at this point, my wife was running away from me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because she's encouraging me to get some more exercise in. Sometimes, when you're doing woodland photography, there will be quiet times where you just don't see any compositions. When that happens, enjoy the sights and listen to the sounds. 
and just enjoy the experience. You don't always have to be catching photos, you can just enjoy your surroundings as well. Now eventually I managed to catch up with my family. They had waited the path here for me. Now as I walked down the path I noticed that my wife was giving me the look of hurry up, so I decided to get my walk on a bit quicker. At this point I decided to get a little bit cheeky and just wave my camera as if to say, I'm taking photos darling. Now just on the left hand side here I noticed that there was this lovely bit of light just lighting up this strip of vibrant green here on the tree. Now these can make lovely photos when you're zoomed in nice and close. Now I didn't get the composition or the framing right here so I decided to just go from a different angle or perspective and then try it here and that's worth noting that if you don't get it straight away just try it from a different angle and sometimes you can get the photo that you want. So once again, I've been left behind. <laughs> so I decided to walk off and then catch up with my wife and my boy here. It really is a beautiful place to go for a walk. And if you've got any local woodland nearby, I would recommend that you go and take a walk around it, especially in these strange times. Now I noticed at the bridge just around the corner that there was a lovely reflection. Now unfortunately, I didn't have my tripod, so I wasn't getting the perfect shot but I just thought I'd still take a picture of it anyway, just so you can see what it looks like. And when I turned around the opposite side of the bridge, I don't know why, but I was just drawn towards this little bit of texture on the bridge here where the stones and the kind of cobbly effect is. And I just liked the way the light was hitting it with this vibrant green grass in the background. It's not a photo I'd usually take, but sometimes these things just pop out to you and it's worth just having a go at them. So I decided to take a photo and here it is. Okay guys, so now we're on the last leg down this little walkway here, which brings us to the canal on the one side and on the other side, there was a river. I noticed that there was just these little stumps here, which had a bit of rope going down. And straight away, I thought this could potentially make a nice leading line. It wouldn't be, you know, a perfect photograph by any means, but just the way the light was lighting up the leaves and the path, I thought it might end up being a nice photo. So after a few attempts trying to get the focus here on this first log, I decided to change the angle. I don't know why it wasn't grabbing it, but it just wasn't. And then I took a photo, and here it is. Canals can sometimes make nice areas to photograph as well. And I could just see that this canal was leading off into the distance where there was this canal barge or this canal boat. So I decided to get a picture of this because I thought it was nice with the conditions the way they were. This is the beauty of using a zoom lens as well, guys. You can just zoom in and zoom out to close and far away, and it can be really convenient when you're in areas like this. Okay, guys, and that's it. That was my photo walk in the wooded area. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please hit subscribe and join the channel here at Ben's Guide. Now, if you've got any suggestions or thoughts for future videos, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your ideas, and whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.